<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here tonight. Really disappointed. Feels like a wasted Saturday. Um, really excited to go to Kentucky's game here tonight against number one Georgia. A chance to prove a statement, prove to everyone we can be a legit team, maybe a threat to Georgia in the SEC. East, and this team can play, lays a complete fucking egg on the field. I put a plate on the field, the 50 yard line took a fucking shit on it. Disappointed is an understatement. I'm extremely frustrated with this team. And well, I guess it's good to be a good program when you're not expected to be. But we can't compete with Georgia or any of these top teams like, say, Alabama, Georgia. We're, we're just not good enough. Like, our defense always disappears. And the defense disappears and I get 51 points. We get the whole season to play for the whole cupcake schedule and we get killed against the top teams. God, it's so frustrating. And what do you like the offense was that bad tonight? We made sure we only scored 13. We had a few good drives. Um, they were ruined early by penalties. Jagger Burton, I want you off my team. You need to be flipping burgers at McDonald's. And you two numbers here, you fucking fat ass number 62. You fat ass, you both need to be working at McDonald's flipping hamburgers and hot dogs. Work at DoorDash. Just pathetic. Two bad penalties. Ruined our offensive drives. From Jagger Burton. Jagger, how you say his name? Who cares? Your name's not even worth mentioning. You're, you're number 62 from now on. And then number zero, Deion Walker, with a terrible penalty after we got a stop on third down. Georgia goes down and scores a touchdown. Which is a backbreaker. We were finally able to score uh, to make it 21 to 7. We got a touchdown in the third after an interception, I think. So, it's the only points we got. 13, two touchdowns thrown by Devin Leary. 10 of 26. Or, yeah, 10 of 26. 128 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He had some good throws here and there, but there's a bad overthrow in the first quarter. An overthrow of Tavion Robinson, which would have been touchdown. Two bad penalties from Jager Burton that cost us two drives. Once Kentucky got down big, it was over. They're just not built to come from behind against a team like Georgia, number one team. And I thought we had a chance because this was their least talented like roster because they don't have like, elite receivers or like an elite running back or an elite quarterback, but we got killed by them. And I, our, the pass rush was non existent. We couldn't get pressure on the quarterback. We couldn't stop the run. We couldn't stop the pass. Couldn't stop anything. We got that one interception. That was it. Other than that, our defense was trash. That, for me, in my opinion, defense was trash. Just an uh, embarrassing effort. Like from this team tonight. Just so frustrated. It's like, I'm not expecting to win or go out there and dominate freaking Georgia. But it could have at least been competitive. But dumb penalties by number 62 and then Deion Walker on defense. Just didn't deserve to win. Defense was trash. Their backup quarterback even had a passing touchdown and ran for 27 yards. Their back was 5 for 7, 46 in a touchdown. Like, embarrassing, embarrassing. Georgia had, what, how many yards did they have on offense in total? They had 608 total yards compared to our, to our 183 day, 8 yards per play, 173 total rushing yards, 435 total passing. This is a, a ridiculous. We had, we had five dumb penalties. We were 2 of 11 on third down. That was big because they converted, felt like every third down they got were 6 of 11 at 34 total, fir 34 total first downs as a team. Just a pathetic effort tonight by this Kentucky team. So disappointing. It's not the kind of game you expect. It's not the kind of game you can play if you expect people to give you the benefit in rankings. Outgamed by almost like 450 total yards. I get to, uh, it's apparent our, we've reached our ceiling in football. The SEC is getting deeper and better next season. This was our best chance to beat Georgia this year. We're contending or contend the SEC. And we get fucking killed like that. 51 to 13 will lower expectations in a hurry. Just pathetic effort. I guess it's on to Missouri, but this is just completely disappointing. Devin Leary's disappointed this year. Yeah, he had the two touchdowns, but who cares? It's 10 of 26, another bad, accurate game. Ray Davis, not 15 runs, 59 yards. He had two catches, 36 yards in the touchdown, so he played a good game. 
And Brandon Green was playing 100% healthy night. One catch, seven yards. Tavion, two catches, nine yards. And a fourth down conversion catch. Dane Key, three catches, 65 yards. He had a good game. Uh, Josh Caddis had the other touchdown, two catches, 11 yards. Give a shit. Uh, that's why you just got to – I mean, I mean it, it, it's football. It happens, but it's just completely disappointing. Just David Leary in three ACC games this year has a 45 complacent percentage, dude. It's just pathetic. But, but I guess we'll return home next Saturday to face Missouri. So, yeah, Kentucky drops to 5-1. Georgia improves to 6-0. and We'll stay number one in the rankings. They get a 51-13 win. Cover the stats now for Georgia. Carson Beck, 28-35, 389 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. At least Mark, Maxwell Harrison had a pick. Um, Brock Bowers. Seven catches, 132 yards and a touchdown. Proves why he's the best tight end in college football. Probably the best player overall. Uh, Marcus Rosamy, four catches, 90, 99 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Ra Ra Thomas, five catches, 63 yards and a touchdown. Dejon Edwards, nine attempts, 54 yards. Also had six catches, 51 yards. Kendall Milton, eight attempts, 47 yards and a touchdown. Their running backs aren't even that late, and they fucking killed us tonight with the running game. Because their running backs have... Uh, 6.0 yards per carry and not 5.9 yards per carry. Cash Jones even had a run for 19 yards. Brock Vander get their backup two runs, 27 yards. Dylan Bell, Andrew Polich had three catches, three runs, 11 yards. Um, Oscar Dale, two catches, 20 yards and a touchdown. Um, Andrew Paul, one catch, seven yards and a touchdown. These are like their backups, I think. It's like we're letting their freaking backups score on us. Just pathetic performance. I it's just, I don't, it's just our ceiling. It's just to be like a good team, but I'm tired of just Kentucky being a good team. I want them to be a great team. I'm tired of just being just a good team. I want to be an elite level team, but I don't know if we'll ever be an elite level team. It's just so frustrating. Uh, but at least there's a real team in Kentucky, the Louisville Cardinals, who are still undefeated. Maybe I'll need to watch Louisville play more. But, um, yeah, that's really uh, all I have to say for this video, though. So, until next time, I'm out. Peace. This thing fucking sucks. What a disappointment.